What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about why Bitcoin just had a flash crash. All right guys, thanks for tuning in. You're tuned in to Drake on Digital and here we're going to talk about why Bitcoin crashed and if you guys are new to the channel we talk about different altcoin projects, uh, just different crypto projects in general and little uh, pointers here and there on how to make it in the crypto markets. Again, not financial advice, just my opinions and just what I see. First off guys, Bitcoin, we're going to show you the first piece of news. There's four different things, but the main one is Bitcoin suffering a flash crash following a week of crypto hype. Guys, this is the title of the first article, and yes, we've had some crazy hype. I mean, if Doge wasn't a sign, well then look at XRP. XRP is still in a possible, possible lawsuit, and people are not scared of risk at all, and they're piling in. On top of that, look at the liquidations that we recently had. If you see Sunday, Bitcoin flash crash sees $10 billion in positions liquidated. What does that mean? Well, these guys are buying options, and they're buying call or puts and calls. So the problem with this is they're levering up and they're just taking a risk because if they lose, they're going to lose all that money. So it's not like they're actually buying the crypto asset. They're literally just giving the money to the exchange or buying a quote unquote piece of paper that says, hey, I own this option because when it comes this and this date, I'll have the option to buy it at this and this price. And there's a possibility for them to get liquidated because they're leveraging on these positions. And all the exchanges can see this, guys. I mean, at, at some point in time, maybe some people will start thinking, well, okay, if, if it's on a public ledger and people can see that I'm putting in a short and a long position, you got to think once the ticker, the amount of dollars or the amount of money or monetary value that's in that position, it's in their incentive to liquidate the position because who gets the money when you guys are liquidated? Well, it's the exchanges. Binance alone got, what was it, $5 billion. Then you have Huobi getting $1.72 billion and $2.4 billion, billion was on the other exchanges. But guys, that's massive. So you have a position of people overhyping on Doge, yet still Doge is up even after this flash crash. So uh, be careful out there, guys. Doge is a completely useless cryptocurrency. And you have people, well, again, Doge is still cool, though, because it's a meme coin. But, guys, the use case for Doge is there really is no use case. Um, then you also have XRP, which is still in the lawsuit, and people are speculating, saying, oh, it's going to come out great. All the SEC has to say is, or they get a, a wild hair up their buns and they say, no, sorry, we ain't going to approve it. Then, well, it's going to crash. I mean, Ripple doesn't even need XRP. Ripple is the company that uses XRP. XRP needs Ripple. So all Ripple has to do is say, ah, oh, XRP is gone. Okay, we'll use something else, whatever. So here's another thing, guys. Buy the rumor, sell the news. A lot of people are like, oh, well, it didn't sell off. Oh, well, uh, Coinbase is listed and it still didn't sell off. Let's just buy in and buy all kinds of longs. And well, here's your answer, guys. Um, it's always buy the rumor, sell the news. Not 100% of the time, but about 99.99% of the time, guys. So keep that in mind, guys, especially when it gets super frothy. And then um, I'm not going to be able to. Well, actually, I can pull up the Nuple chart for you guys. You guys take a look at the Nuple chart. Every time we get into this euphoria stage, that's when we crash. You can see we're getting extremely close to it. And now we're starting to retrace. And yes, that does extend the bull market, um, but still, you gotta you gotta think. Well, people are looking at the chart as well. Other people are looking, so they're they're looking at it in advance. So they're like, okay, well, everyone thinks it's going to sell off right here, so I'll just sell right before. And other people are gonna do the same thing. <laughs> so that's what causes the crash, and it'll go down when people sell. That's what causes it to go down. Pressing the green button goes up. The red button goes down. So keep that in mind, guys, especially if you have some positions to take profits. Uh, go ahead and take some of your profits and be careful um, because there's a lot of scenarios where this can go up and it'll it'll crash. I mean, look at these different charts. So keep that in mind, guys. And another thing I want to show you guys is the total hash rate. So there's so many different things um, that people are blaming the news on. But in general, the main concern is people are getting overhyped, overexcited and over leveraging when you got to be careful guys because the big whales out there they're just gonna destroy you they'll, they'll sell as soon as they find out oh okay this guy's levering up they can see that so if you look here 
they're blaming oh no the hash rate on bitcoin that that scared some people because uh there's a couple uh, several uh rigs out in china is i think it was the or the country is or city of Zixping or something started with an x basically uh one of the mining factories shut down and the hash rate went way down but that really doesn't have a factor or an effect on the bitcoin price because they aren't selling the bitcoin it's just the hash rate so just because the hash rate goes down it just makes it easier to mine bitcoin at that point in time for the other miners and yet still the, the hash rate is still over 100 million theta hash which is a ton it's massive that's like 100 times the amount of ethereum so keep that in mind guys and this was the country where we had the blackouts in as you guys can see in this article article here it was Xinjiang. and here's the last piece of news guys the last piece of news is this tweet right here where it talks about um the u.s treasury to charge several financial institutions for money money laundering using cryptocurrencies well first off it's a public ledger so you can see exactly where one money is going from point a to point b i really think it's a bad way to use um, cryptocurrencies for money laundering um, maybe a possibility for nfts but money laundering uh, it's it's a little bit different because um, <laughs> it's a public le ledger you'd have better you'd be better off using cash or anything else um, anything that's not tied to the internet or digital so i this is really just another piece of fud um, and then you also do have uh, India and Turkey, like we talked about on, I think it was Friday, uh, banning Bitcoin. Um, but India has been trying to do that for several years now. So again, uh, the main piece is, guys, people are getting overhyped um, about what's going on in the markets. And you guys really have to be careful with that. And again, guys, uh, the governments do want to uh, somehow put away cryptocurrencies. Um, so you also have to keep that in mind. These different FUD articles are going to come out. And that is a buying opportunity if you are bullish on it. Um, so if you guys have profits, again, make sure you take some and see what happens with the uh, different FUD ar articles that come out. And that is, those create different buying opportunities. So guys, if you found any value in this video, smash up the like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification. That way you guys are notified every time we make a new one. There's a couple of affiliate links below in the description. You guys can click on any of those. I get a reward, you get a reward, it's a win-win. Or there's a Patreon link if you guys want to donate to the channel. Or if you don't want to do any of those, either way guys, um, like I said, you can still smash up the like, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification. That way you guys are notified every time we make a new one. And if you guys aren't on Drake on Digital, you're getting left behind. Proverbs chapter 28, verses 12. When the righteous triumph, there's great elation. But when the wicked rise to power, people go into hiding. This is important, guys. <laughs> you guys can see that a lot of times when uh, bad rulers come out. And always, always people go into hiding. Uh, I mean, you guys can kind of see it now. Like, I I'm not making any political... Um, comments or anything but i'm just saying we have a new president in powder power but yet we're still having to stay in our homes for coronavirus but anyways guys uh thanks for watching thanks for watching guys if you guys are new to the channel go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and hit that bell notification that way you guys can be ahead of the game every time we make a new video I hope you guys enjoyed that video guys I need you guys to do a couple of things participate in the quadruple threat First, set up a Celsius account. Here's a referral link. You guys can use it. Write it down. Type it down. Or you guys can use the link in the description below. Set up a Celsius account. Good for savings. Good for earnings. Don't bet the house on it, though. But anyways, you guys can get a free bonus on this. All right. How do I get this free bonus? Well, guys, enter in this link. You guys will get $30. Then deposit $200 in any cryptocurrency. Enter in new 40 like NEW40 promo code, you guys can use both, and you'll get a total of $70. Guys, that's step one of the triple threat. All right, Drake, I did step one. What's step two? All right, guys, this is where you can get your small altcoin gems and little game changers. You guys can go to crypto.com. You can set up account. Here's a link in the description below, or you guys can just type in this code right here on the screen. Deposit some funds in there. You get $25 in bonus crypto. You guys can use that to buy your altcoin gems and have some fun. Step two of the triple threat.
or I'm sorry, quadruple threat. And the third one, this one is a fun one, uh, Voyager. This one is more so where you can buy with limit orders. It doesn't have as many altcoins as crypto.com, but it's really easy to use, easy to set up. And yes, this one does come with a referral link as well, and you'll get $25 in BTC. Um, this is how you can do a limit order, super easy to use, and they don't charge any trading fees whatsoever. Here's the referral link. You can't copy and paste it, but you can look in the description to copy and paste, and you can put that in and set one up, 25 bucks. For Step four, open up a BlockFi account. Here's a link you guys can use. The reference code is 024FFE02. All the links are in the description below. Open up a BlockFi, just deposit some funds, and you'll get $30 in BTC. And you can also get that crypto cashback rewards card. Don't forget about that. Game changer, 1.5%. And the first few months, you get a bunch of extra percent. Check it out. This is the funnest one though. Lolly, free. There is a referral link to this one too. I've actually won 100,000 sats one time on one of the uh, taps, which is worth like 100 bucks in Bitcoin. So it's crazy. Um, look, and there's even proof in the wallet. Look at that, daily stack, 101. Guys, set one up, it's really easy to do. Download a Lolly account and just set it up. And of course, guys, if you guys are a pro, there's a link in the description so you guys can sign up with KuCoin and Binance US to get some trading fee discounts. Thanks.